Hey guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the garage. Got a quick morning job helping out a friend here. Um, we're going to be doing the back brakes on his LS460. It's uh, something I haven't done before to this particular vehicle. But it looks pretty straightforward. We're going to be changing out rotors and pads. And it looks like first we're going to unpop these clips with a screwdriver. Just like so. Who are you talking to? <laughs> talking to the world, my adoring <laughs> fans. <laughs> and then this will just uh, slide off of the pins in the back. And then these pins here will slide out that way. Pads will come out. Then we'll unbolt the rotor. And, uh, or unbolt the caliper and replace the rotor. Sorry, I can't leave the phone out here in the sun. It overheats, so hang in there. <laughs> Alright, so so far, so good. We got the inner pad has the wear sensor. And once you remove this clip, uh, they just, they do pull right out. And that wire goes along here. And bolts in right there. You just press it in with your thumb. And it slides right out. So just press that in there and uh, the new pad should come with it but first we got to get this caliper unbolted and get the rotor swapped out these are floating rotors so that should be the easiest part of all this okay so this has a factory or an automatic e-brake so he's gonna see if we can turn it off because the e-brake is holding the rotor in place Okay. Oh, I heard the, I heard a little motor back here. I just heard a tiny little motor. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm afraid to get my fingers pinched. Oh, that's on. That's on. That's off. That's off. That is cool. So, let me look into that a little bit and make sure I'm not hurting anything by trying to pound this rotor off because it's not just falling off like I hoped. So, we'll have to see if there's something else holding it on. Alright, so after we watched another video, made sure there wasn't anything special holding it on. Um, we just grabbed a couple bolts here and threaded them in that way until it popped and it came right off. So that's what it looks like. Nothing special holding it on. It was just a little rust. Um, but uh, we'll get it slapped back together pretty quick. So it went together pretty smoothly once you remember how the clips go. But uh, just make sure you keep a good mental note or take a good picture. Um, and it's still going to be a bit of a struggle getting those clips in the holes of those pins. So just take your time and it should go together pretty smoothly. Other than the rotor being kind of rusted on there, it's, uh, it was, it was really simple and normal. Just make sure on this particular car you have your e-brake off. Um, but I'm going to take care of the other side. All right, so we're on the other side now, and we're just gonna time lapse this real quick. You can see me messing with those springs, trying to get them out of the pins there. And then uh, they're a little tight. I did clean these pins up with some brake clean and a scouring pad there. And you see that clip in the brake sensor? Uh, your hardware kit should come with a new clip. Make sure you reuse that. If not, make sure you save your old ones. And then the pads slid out pretty easily. It is a super tight fit, but they do slide out a lot easier than they slide in. So make sure you clean the inside of that caliper and put some lubrication on there to make it easier. Now when I get this off, you'll see that I just squeezed these pistons in by hand um, and then left it to sit on a jack stand while I swapped out the rotor. 
Now I think these are eight millimeter bolts here. I don't know the thread pitch, but uh, it's eight millimeter. And it just, they, they literally popped them, rotor right off. I, I did hammer on the other side a couple times, pretty hard. And it was pretty amazing just to see like, once these screws touched the hub, it popped the rotor right off. So get that off there and I'll scour up the flange there to get rid of any, you know, heavy rust. And uh, do clean these rotors off really good. They are covered in an oil called Cosmoline to keep them from rusting while they sit on the shelves. And a thread locker, if you looked real quick there, you saw that on there. Don't want those bolts to come off. The blue stuff you see here all over the pads, or you're about to see here, is the lube, is ceramic grade lube. Uh, just to hold up to the extra, any excessive heat. Um, I'm tightening the rotor, the caliper bolts right now. I think I'm lubing up the pads right now. And then, uh, okay, there's the clip. And you will have to kind of force the pins, you know, through the clip too. So it's, it's gonna be a little tight as you press these pins through the pads and get it all aligned and everything. But it is a tight squeeze. And this is with the pistons pressed all the way open. So make sure you press those pistons all the way open. And then you see the groove for the wear sensor. I didn't show it, uh, kind of cut it early, but uh, all these pads can go on either which way the brake sensor will fit in either one. And typically you do want to replace those sensors, but um, we're going to give it a shot. After you slide one of the pins in, you want to hook that bracket onto that pin and the caliper. Then slide the second pin through. Don't try to stretch that over the pins. He didn't have a light when, uh, when we took it off, so we're hoping they're still in good shape. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.